Hi, in this video, I'm going to show a quick demo on the remote access system. A remote access is the ability to get access to computers or network resources from a remote distance. In the corporations, people who are in the branch office, telecommuters or people who are traveling, we need to access the corporation networks and resources. And in this setup, we will provide some installations on a few of the remote system that is required to provide remote access services. So there are some criteria to be considered. For example, we need to make sure that the, there's a firewall boundary to prevent any other traffic but except allowing the remote users to gain uh, connectivity to the remote access server. And also we need to make sure that the users has the right to access what he needs and any other resources will be denied from his access and this can be governed by either on the firewall or on the remote access server or system. Alright, let's take a look at the configuration on some of the system. So let's inspect the firewall policy. So the firewall policy, I would allow the traffic all right, from the external system, the user system, connect to the remote access servers stored inside the DMZ zone all right and the configuration is pretty simple so from the SRX Juno's command line I will see untrusted to DMZ targeted policy is remote access from any source IP address to, to the designated remote access server application will be HTTPS and ping allows permit and deny all any other traffic right and of course I do have the NAT in place to translate the traffic from the external IP address into the internal IP address for the PCS system So the translation is from the destination netting. All right, this is my PCS IP address. Okay, so it will be transport from the any traffic that's designated to us to this firewall interface, external interface, will translate into the internal IP address. Okay, and let's take a look at the power secure servers all right so for the power secure servers uh, I will need to have the policy control to allow different users to gain access to different systems so for example the contractors will be allowed to gain access to these web servers one and the employees may be allowed to gain access to any of the server all right so and the traffic will be tunneling into the VPN traffic all right, and out from the PCS remote access server into the internal networks all right okay so configuration is pretty simple so this is the dashboard of the Pulse Connect Secure if I take a look at my resource policy VPN tunnel all right I have uh, no restriction policies and the only web server one policy if I take a look at the only web server pol uh, policy uh, the resource allowed will be the 198.192.168.1.133 all right which is basically the server one only all right and on the other hand all right if I take a look at the other policy no restriction so basically, I will allow any IP address internally and any port, all right, which is uh, targeted to us for the employees only, all right, and allow access. So the and on my users, I'm using Windows, all right. So let me log out from this admin site. Okay, and I will go in. All right. Okay. 
So for the normal user, I can access to this remote access server. Right. Okay. Through HTTPS. Okay. Now I'm getting connection to the so uh, to the firewall and it will net it into the internal IP address of the PCS system and then after that they were prompt for a login all right so this is one way to log on let me log on uh, using the web browser all right and the password all right so after the authorization success then we can actually start up with the uh, in the past we call it the uh, network connect right now we can use a pulse secure client to start the vpn tunnel into the system we can also go in straight with the client here all right without using the browser log on okay so right now it's setting up the tunnel okay and we shall be will see in the prompt just connect all right then it would ask you for the credential to lock on for this uh, VPN connection all right connected okay so what would I know if I'm connected all right let's take a look at the command line prompt all right let me try to ping the this is my web server one that I'm going to access all right and the a time user is a contractor so i should not be allowed to get access to the 134 which is a web server 2 all right so that's what fine good all right and let me take a look at the web browser okay which is a uh, 192 2.168.1.133 alright so I'm going to the web server 1 alright let me also try to see if I can go to web server number 2 I do 168.1.134 alright so I should be should be able to get access to the web server one all right okay that's good okay web server side one but i will not be able to gain access to web server two okay so let me try to lock out okay, you can lock out from here all right this is a tunnel that you need to lock out okay and after that you should be able you should not be able to ping to the internal system because of the tunnel has been disconnected all right but i also want to log out the website okay let me try to log on again all right with another user credential all right is this something out from here i can actually go in from here the remote the power secure client all right let me key in the username which belong to the role of employee okay get access all right and it will establish a tunnel okay and i try to do some ping test let the tunnel to be established Okay, after a couple of seconds, you will see the connectivity from the Windows system towards to the resources installed inside the network. All right. Okay, now I can ping the server number one and the server number two. Good. All right. So let me try the server number two again using a different user 
who has a different right. Alright. Okay, good. I think I'm have targeted to to another servers. Okay. So for this servers, okay, which is server number one, and for the other server, and this server number two. Alright. So this is a quick demo to illustrate how the system can be set up easily and have a secure connections within the network using Juniper SRX firewall and the resource control using the Power Secure SS system. Alright, thanks for your time. Have a good day. Bye bye.